boys and girls and welcome to Goring Guitar. We have Lynn Lapid here with a song called Poster Boy. All right, it's a cute song there and we will look at this with a capo set on the highest level ever on this guitar. I think it's the max here since I don't have a fretboard that is um, five and a half meters long. I only have 12 frets here and we need to set our capo here on the eight frets, all right? On the eight frets to have these high notes and easy grips to play with. So capo on eight, let's look at this song. So we have pretty much four chords, grips we need to um, play and it goes in the same way through the entire song. We're gonna look at this picking pattern and also a strumming pattern. You can alternate and go back and forth with it. Uh, so let's start this. Let's take a look at the chords first. So we have a standard C first that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. The next chord is C major seven. So what you do there from the C, you just lift off this first on B and let that be open. Everything else is the same and that gives us third on A still, second on D, and then open G, open B. That's the only difference and open E. So first C, then C major seven. Then we have a similar thing here going on with the F major seven first. That is third on D, second on G, first on B, and open E. That's F major seven. The next chord I will just call simply F, all right? Just to separate these two chords apart. So what you do here, uh, you just add the third fret on B string and have that instead of the first B. But I don't take this off because we're gonna play back and forth with these two chords. So just add this in front of this first B on the third B here. And I have this ready to just lift off and get the first B again. So that is plain B, we'll call that. So that will be third on uh, D, second on G, then third on B again, and open E. So there you have the different chords and grips. Let's take a look at the picking pattern, all right? So it goes pretty fast, this, all right? So we'll take first the C. It goes like this. All right, so that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, open G, and second D. So third A, second D, open G, first B, open G, and second D. And then you're gonna play the C major seven. You just follow the chords here and lift off this B. So you have to get that open. And then you're gonna play this part. So that is third on A, second on D, open G, open B, open B, second on D. And then you have third on A, second on D, open G, and back to second on D. So slowly. All right, so that is the C major. Then we have the F major here. You know, I'll play like this. So you grab the F major and then you're gonna play third on D, second on G, first B, open E, first B, and second on G. All right, and then we have the F thing going on here. It sounds like this. Okay, so it will play third on D, second on G, first B, third B, back to first B, second on G, third 
third D, then second on G, first B, and second on G. Slow like this. When I come to this uh, first fret on B string and then play the third fret on B string, I hammer this on like this. So I hammer on with my little pinky on the third B. I don't play it with my strumming hand. And then I pull off to get back to the first B here. In that way, I have the speed here and I have to work with my right hand in this case to get all the notes, so I take some help here from a little pinky to hammer on on the third B and pull off to get the first B back here. And that's the reason for why I'm having this still there, okay? And then just continue, so. All right, there you have the patterns. So the song goes C, then C major seven. That part you play for two rounds, so back to C again, and then C major 7. Then you're going to go over to the F major 7 and play F, and then you play that part again, so go back to F major 7 and then play F again. So slowly, one chord progression round goes like this. Perhaps it's just a tad faster even than this, I'm not sure, but that is how you handle a song. You could play like this through entire song, but you can also play a strumming pattern. All right, so it will follow the same uh, pattern when it comes to chords. Uh, C, C major, C, C major, then F major, F, F major, F. All right, but with a strumming pattern. So let's grab this C and look at the strumming pattern. One round will be down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Like this. All right, so down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Just a short pause after the down, up, down, up, and then comes the up, down, up. So. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. That is one round. So you're gonna play one string pattern per chord. So C1, C major one. Then back to C1, C major one. Then F major one, F1, F major one, F1. Like this. So perhaps a little bit faster, something like this. back and forth, perhaps a little bit better than I do it, but anyway, give it some time and you will handle this Lynn Lappin song called Poster Boy. So thank you for watching guys, great to have you with me here, uh, I'm not that alone. <laughs> yeah, so nice to get that support from you, so till next time, play tuned. <laughs>